Hello everyone, this is James. In this video, we're going to go ahead and create a jailed environment for an SFTP user that we're going to create just now. Um, basically, we're going to restrict them to a specific directory. So um, let's go ahead and create a group for that user. And then the directory. Let's call it SFTP users ghru. Alrighty. Oh, and let's change the ownership. ghroot. Okay, let's add the um, FCTP user. I'm going to use my name. I make sure the group that that user belongs to is the uh, SFTP group. Next, uh, make sure they have no login shell. And let's create a password real quick for them. And now let's create a directory address for that user within that gelled environment. Let's also change the ownership. This time the owner will be the user and then the group will be the SFTP group. And then let's change the mode of it. There we go. And um, this directory, it could be whatever you want to name it. But this next step, make sure you put the uh, directory correctly in it. So we're going to go ahead and edit the sshd config file. This is what you're going to want to put. Um, when you first come in here, you'll just see this, but you're going to have to add all this. Okay. So, subsystem SFTP, internal SFTP, the match group. That's the group that you just added. And then the uh, ZH root directory, the gel directory. Users, ZH root. And then force command, internal SFTP. X1140, nope. And allow TCP 14, nope. That looks good. Let me go ahead and uh, write this out and reload SSH. Okay, let's go ahead and check if this is working. I have another virtual machine on this internal network, so I'm able to SSH as well as FTP in it. And uh, let's go ahead and see if it does work. I'm sh let me see. I think this is 4.7. Yeah, the IP address. All right, there you go. They are jailed in this directory, and they can see their own, so they can go into there. All right, and that's it. That's how you make a jailed environment for a SFTP user. Well, I'll see you next time. Thank you.